Hey you guys, I'm here to do my July empties. I have uh, quite a few Bath & Body Works products this month, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I have here is this candle from White Barn. This is the, if I can get to the front of it, Banana Cabana scented candle. I really like this scent. It's like a sweet, creamy banana, but the scent notes are sun-kissed banana, sea spray, and warm vanilla. My only complaint is that this was super light, but I like the scent so much, I probably would go ahead and repurchase that again anyways. This Studio Selection Clarifying Charcoal Facial Cleanser. I believe this was purchased from a Dollar General store. I didn't like it. It had it like a gel consistency and I don't feel like it cleaned my face like a charcoal cleanser should. So I would not repurchase that. From Bath & Body Works is the Mahogany Woods 2-in-1 Hair and Body Wash for Men. My boyfriend finished this. This smelled really good, so he will continue to repurchase the body washes. And I know there are two of these. This is the Bourbon Deodorizing Body Spray. I really like the Bourbon scent. And he also finished up Noir. He goes through these in probably a week and a half. I'm not kidding. But we will continue to buy those. One of my all-time favorite dry shampoos is the Batiste in Beautiful Brunette. I like how it's got that tint so it doesn't leave that white cast behind, so I will repurchase that. From Bath & Body Works is this Beautiful Day Body Butter. You guys know how I feel about this scent. It's a really nice scent, but I've had it in so many products that I've been trying to use up lately. I'm over it, so no. I'm gonna pass on that one. Maybe, you know, sometime in the future, but at this point, not right now. And the body spray as well. Finish that up. Finish up this Argan Oil from Rocco Hask 3. Oh, it's 5-in-1 leave-in spray. This was an okay detangling spray. I didn't really care for the scent, but um, it was okay. And I would repurchase it if I needed another detangling spray. It kind of smells like oranges, so let's see product I did not like is this Mona Lisa Blood Orange and Cotton Candy. It says Fine Bubble Wash and I can see why it's called that because this is a super thin consistency and the smell was so artificial I did not like it. Another candle here. This is the Key Lime Pie from Bath & Body Works. The scent notes are Zesty Key Lime, Graham Cracker Crust, and Dollop of Meringue. If you want a strong scented candle, this is it. It smells just like Fruit Loops, just like everybody's saying. But it's almost so strong that at some points it made me a little nauseous because it was so sweet and strong. So, I would repurchase this, but maybe not burn it as long as I was because it's really strong and it burned pretty far pretty far down finished up a Dove deodorant I like Dove deodorants I would repurchase that <clears throat> a Kobo Shea cucumber aloe gel lotion from Bath & Body Works this stuff is amazing first of all even though it's a light scent, it lingers on your skin and is actually kind of strong for a cucumber scent. And the gel consistency you think would be super thin, but it is so moisturizing. It is better than the body butters. So I would definitely repurchase that. I'm trying to open it so I can show you guys that I did use every single bit of it. And... Oh my gosh, even opening it, it just fills the room with the scent. It smells so good. So, do let me know down below if they make this product in other scents. Because if they do, I would really like to purchase it. Okay. I just finished up a regular bar soap of Dial. This was just a purple bar. I think it was lavender or something. But I like Dial soaps. They lather really nicely. So, I would repurchase that. A hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This is the Creamy Luxe in Peach Bellini. This was so nice. I love the scent. It was really strong and lingered on your hands for a long time. 
And I do like these hand soaps better than the foaming ones because I just feel like, you know, you got to scrub a little bit more to get all that gel off your hands. And so therefore I feel like my hands are cleaner, but I would definitely repurchase that. Okay, I finished up two conditioners from Infuse. I got these from the hotel when we were on vacation in Tennessee. The conditioners are really nice. They kind of have like a beachy scent to them. But the shampoos, I hate it. So that's why I use up the conditioners, I guess. Okie dokie. A rose quartz 2-in-1 body wash and bubble bath. My daughter had this and she probably finished this in less than two weeks. She loves the scent of rose. So I will definitely repurchase that for her. My youngest daughter finished up this Dove Sensitive Skin Body Wash. She has eczema, so that works really nicely for her. Okay, a couple of wallflowers here. This one is in Watermelon Lemonade. This one was amazing. Love it. Would repurchase. And you guys know one of my all-time favorites is at the beach. Love that. I'm going to move this bag over so we can see what's left. Okay, this was kind of interesting. This came in a lavish box, and you basically just pour this into the bigger soap bottle that they gave you. Um, and then you mix the rest of it with water to make a foaming hand soap. And this had like a essential oil scent to it, which was really nice. And I like it, but if you guys know my opinions on the lavish box, I canceled it after my first one. So I will not be repurchasing that, but it was nice to have it while I did. Okay, this is a body wash from Fortune Cookie Soap in Regenerate. I hated this. It smelled just like a generic soap. Um, I like the formula of their body washes, but this scent was not my favorite, so I would not repurchase that. Got several packets in here. This one is from Verb. This one came in a Sephora Play Box. This is their shampoo and conditioner. I didn't care for the shampoo, but the conditioner was nice, but I didn't love it enough to seek it out. So we'll pass on that. And then from Briogeo is their superfood shampoo and conditioner. I don't really remember this, so it must have not made that good of an impression on me. And last but not least is the Spocha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. I loved this, and I would look into purchasing the full size. And I'm sorry, my nails are ratchet, but I had them painted, and then I went to work yesterday in my box, my box, my job. I work with boxes all day, opening them. So, yeah, my polishes never last long, and I do apologize about that. Okay, I think one more thing. Let's see here. Okay, I'm keeping that. Two more things, one more wallflower, another at the beach. You guys know I love that, so that's why I had two this month. And then I have a Shiseido Ultimate Sun Protection Lotion. This was really nice. I had a light lemon scent to it. I liked it, so. That is all of my empties this month. Not anything super exciting, but you know, such is life. I'll see you guys again in my next video. Bye.